Welcome to this tutorial of beginner series. So in this series, we are going to be learning basic settings of AutoCAD. So I'm going to go to tool. This is my menu, pull down menu bar. So you can see as I'm rovering, there is a flyer popping up. So I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to run down to options. So there's a three dots here. Each time you see a three dots after a particular word that means we are expecting a dialog box somewhere so i'm going to go to options i'm going to click on options this window pops up so there's a window here so i have files so you can see i have this is a, a box here if i click on this plus sign i'm going to expand it so these are user data so these are order the font size and some other very important data so i will advise that this place here this file here you don't touch anything so that you don't go on this order your autocad and run into some serious problems so i'm going to go to display this is my display tab so when i get to my display tab you can see display scroll bar in a drawing window you can check that if you want to check it so we are going to do basic setting so we are going to leave it as default so this is color so i'm going to go into color let me choose in color so this is a drawing window color this is my window here this all of this black space here is my window so this is my 2d model space so we have 2d and we have 3d so if i go to this my 3d look at how the preview of my 3d space will look like so but i'm using a 2d so this is my 2d now what this implies is all drawings i'm doing i'm going to come out like this if it's black so i'm going to go to um, the uniform background which is the interface element the uniform background i want a uniform background so i'm going to keep it at uniform background so it's black here so i can just pull this if i want yellow this is my yellow so i'm going to say apply you can see it turns yellow at the background here so your background becomes yellow so but i don't like it it's kind of disturbing to my eyes so i'm going to go to but if you like it you can you can use it so it still works for you so i'm going to go to maybe blue i'm going to use blue also i'm going to click apply you can see it turns blue i'm going to go to also no blue is not cool i don't like blue but i'm going to leave it a black so i like black because it's a little bit very very cool to the eye to see so this is black so i'm going to say okay it turns black so this is the color here it's black now you can change fonts if you don't like it you can go to fonts uh, whatever fonts you want to change to that each time you draw that is a font that will be default so regular you can change the size of the font if you wish and whatsoever you want to do with it then when you're done with it so you're going to click apply then you close it so but i'm okay with our font um, i'm okay i'm okay with our font so it's okay so it's a layer element so this is a display all is checked so uh, I'm, 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 cool, I'm cool this is cool i'm cool i like it so let it be default so this is my cursor my cursor size which is this uh each time i draw this is the cursor that comes up on the screen that looks like a plus sign so if i want to increase it so i can just pull this uh little square here i can increase it so as you can see it's going to 100 percent so okay let me just let me just make something let me say 50 let me give it a 50 so if i give it a 50 and i said um apply and i said okay you can see how my cursor becomes so it becomes bigger this one on my screen here is my cursor but i i think i like the one that is small so i'm still going to go back to tools i'm going to go back to options i'm going to go i'm going to pull my cursor i'm going to pull it it was in five or you can just come here just on your keyboard just highlight it and tap five so it goes back to five as small the way it was so i'm going to go to open my open tab this is my autocad so this save as default is autocad so you can say okay no you don't want to be saving at default but i'm going to save as others you want to like say we have a dxf and all other do documents so you just need to um 
just save in one bed. I like a DWG, so it's good to leave it at a D for DWG that you uh, already came with a default. So just leave it at that. So we're going to all other is okay. You can just go through of them so that the video does not get too lengthy. So you can just go through all of this by yourself and just just try some settings back and you recall how you did it then you go back and set it again but i like this one that says file save precautions now when you are working sometimes you don't remember to save because autocad your last save if the program eventually have some problems and you're drawing so the backup file we have to use your last save so this you can just change this last save is 10 minutes is minutes between 10 save so i'm going to say okay i like it to be saving within two minutes that is saving for me every two minutes or every 60 seconds say so one so every 60 seconds it saves for me even though i don't know i don't hit the button saves so it does that so i'm going to go to plot so this is where you you put your default plane printer so i have a default printer which is promo pdf that i'm using so i can just say okay use promo pdf as a default printer or if you have a printer in your office you can just set this place to your default printer and uh, it prints for you so this is where the default file locations you can you can just say okay no i don't want it i want my desktop so you can just come to this please choose your desktop this is my desktop so you, are, you saved or you create a folder so that you can just be saving all documents from this autocad into it and you'll be good with that so but i like it to be saved in documents so I, I like it so so let it just be there so that the essence of this is to organize your drawings so that you know where your drawing files is because sometimes you just saved your file and you don't know where it is so this is where you come to you click on it there's a window so you come to this point you create a folder here you can just say okay just right click say new go to new you create a folder and the folder pops up this is a folder and you say okay all drawings on this you maybe you can just say okay let me rename this folder let me rename this folder to autocad to autocad to AutoCAD, AutoCAD 217, 27, sorry, 27, so you can just say, okay, AutoCAD 27, so all documents drawn on this software have to go into this particular folder, so you are organized, your drawing is organized, whatever drawing you're doing, once you click on the button, save, all drawings go into this folder, so you're good, but I'm good with that because I like it to just be in documents because I have a pretty cool way to organize my doc my documents is very organized so I think all should go but you can just highlight this and say okay select you click on select then it goes all drawing down here yeah, I have to move into this so bit okay so I'm going to click on this red button say okay I'm good with that just go away for some time now so you can just just explore all of this here you can just explore all of this and um, make things a little pretty easy for you to set up some uh, some good settings so that your drawing will be very efficient this for 3d performance you are not making 3d so you have to ignore this place for now until when you want to make 3d so this is our drawing um, user preference so this is a drawing preference so window start behavior I say double click so if I double click on the icon it comes up so i have a shortcut menu already so it comes up so you can customize it if you don't want to so i like double clicking you can just say mm, i like double clicking double clicking is good so insert scale so this scale the default scale this is where we have some pretty uh attention to work on so this scale here so now we have a parallel and we have metric so i'm using metric so i'm going to go instead of inches i'm going to go to meters so Give me meters or say no meters let me use millimeters so i'm going to use millimeters so i'm going to look for millimeters so all drawings done all this autocad are going to be in millimeters so i'm going to see change also my target to be millimeters so every unit becomes millimeters on this drawing so that is pretty cool so if you are using maybe inches you can change just to inches you're using feet 
you can locate feeds you can use any unit but i'm using metrics so i like let me just use millimeters as a small unit so that yeah i can change it to meters if i want to but you can just go ahead and do whatever you want with it so i'm going to go to drafting so this is my app actual so all these colors you can just play with them so this is my app actual so if i pull on this it comes bigger so this is i pull on this become this is the square at that plus sign that is on your screen so when you draw it it becomes bigger so this is it so you can just explore maybe all other options you can just pull on this the pick box you can just pull on it it goes and it comes up uh, very big for you so that is it so these are the grips you can make the grips the bigger so after all your settings what you do just go click on apply then you said okay so all settings are done this is it guys for your basic settings on AutoCAD for beginner series do join us in our next video and please do subscribe give us a thumbs up if you like a video and also drop a comment see you in our next video